Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this sliding support using Creo parametric. While modeling this, I will start with the this sketch. This front sketch I will create and I will extrude up to the length of 34. First always do the material addition features, then you start with the material removal features. These two features will do, do it later. Now, next I will create this rectangle 54 and 34 and extrude up to, length, up to the length of 64. After that, I will start doing material removal feature. Here, we will create a circle and if we, here we will create a rectangle and we will remove the material throughout it. Then, similarly here we will create a circle and we, here we will create a rectangle, we will remove the material throughout. Finally, we just want to create two holes of dia 8 up to this only. Now, we will see how to model this component using Creo parameter. After modeling it, it will look like this. This is the final object of the model. Now, we will learn how to model this step by step. Close. Go to new, make it part solid, untick this use default template, save ok. Here mm part solid absolute, save ok. I am switching on all the planes. For easy drawing, I used to keep this diagram left side for quick viewing of our model dimension. First, as I said, first I start with this sketch. I am just taking front plane. Sketch, Sketch View. We will create a center line. Now, first I'm, I will make a circle. This outer circle with a radius of 22 dimension. The radius is 22. And the height, they mentioned it as from the bottom to the center is 38. Go to fit screen, then simply make a line. Then remove this unwanted edges by using a delete segment. Now the sketch is done. Save OK, extrude, make it symmetric. The total extrusion length is here, they were specified as. 48 save ok next we will model this material adding feature select this mid plane sketch sketch view make the center line for symmetric object creation take this similar rectangle put this rectangle this one is a symmetric rectangle now width of this rectangle is 34 and the height is 54 this one is 34 and this one is 54 save ok this is already asymmetric extrude Re just click this material adding actually we should not remove the material make it symmetric the total extrusion length is here you can see 64 just save ok now we have created both material addition feature. Now we will start creating the material removal features. First I will start with this surface. This hole and this rectangle slot I am going to make. Sketch, sketch view. Take the reference. Close. Put the axis for symmetric object. Then take a circle. The circle diameter they have specified as here. 30 and then we will create a rectangle this one is the symmetric rectangle the rectangle length is 32 and the height is 15 32 
8 is 15 just say ok extrude change the direction to next press the roller to confirm similarly we'll create a cut here select the surface sketch sketch view the first circle is located here just put the circle here with a diameter of 20 then we'll create one rectangle here to make the symmetric put the axis then take a rectangle corner rectangle symmetric one the length is 20 and height is 6 save ok extrude change the direction here if you use two next it will only remove the material up to this to remove the material throughout all choose the option called throw all now you can see complete completely it is removed now press the roller to confirm now again select the stop surface sketch sketch view now we just want to make a two hole up to this only for that take a circle equal circle the circle the center distance is 48 and the circle with the diameter of 8 center distance is 48 it's not symmetric this diameter is 8 now we will make this into a symmetric select this one select this point and this point and this axis yes now choose the dimension as from here to here this one is 48 now the sketch is ok save ok extrude change the direction only to next save ok now the complete model is done switch off this plane shading with edges standard orientation this is our model now we will change the appearance change to white press the control to select all the inner surfaces say ok now we will apply some other color to the outer surface say ok so this way we can apply the color we can apply color to complete model also In this tutorial, we will learn how to model this component. In next tutorial, we will learn with a new component. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.